Hear my voice, Halloween Horror Nights. I am Dr. R. Felony. I've been watching you. For years, I see you shaking in fear, yet begging for more. You gladly worship those who have seen here before. Doctors, directors, even clouds. I don't want your worship. I want what you want. So what is it that you want? Fear. Oh, I promise he's going to lose your soul and prepare you for something more. Wow. Immortality. That is what I want. Until now, as this horror night begins! Hey everyone, Ben and Ob here, and tonight is the opening night of Halloween Horror Nights 32. We've been waiting pretty much since last year for this event. We've put up with the speculation. We know that Dr. Oddfellow will be there. We know that Stranger Things 4 will be there. We know that there will be classic Universal Monsters. We are super jazzed to share it all with you tonight. We're going to show you the scare zones. We're going to tell you about the houses, and we're going to show you the stay and scream areas. We're jazzed, we gotta get going. Let's go find our stay and scream area. So it's about 4.30, we're headed to the Today Cafe stay and scream area to see the opening ceremonies. If you really wanna get into those stay and scream areas, we highly suggest getting to the stay and scream areas that you want roughly around 4.30. Universal Studios will close at about five o'clock and they might start letting you into houses a little bit earlier than the 6.30 opening for general park admission. So get to those stay and scream areas early. We're excited to show you the opening ceremonies. Hopefully we get a good view, we'll have to see. And hopefully some of these gray clouds like to hold off for a little bit, but it is a bit of a tradition to rain on opening night of HHN, so we'll see. 12 seconds later. It's still raining. Aubrey decided she's gonna go change and catch up leaves me with the umbrella, but we're sure gonna have a great HHN night. Just a little rain, just a little rain. Maybe no opening ceremonies, but we'll make do. We've got about 10 minutes left, just, just over 10 minutes left. The fog is starting to roll in. It's HHN season. Well, no opening ceremonies for HHN 32 on night one. It's understandable, it's wet. We don't want anybody getting hurt. That's completely understandable. It will not dampen our fun tonight, though. It will not. We'll still have fun. We're still going to get scared. Let's go find some scares. Slight delay due to changing and wardrobe shifts, but we're back into the scare zone. Scare actors are starting to come out finally. Now that the weather's sort of breaking, we'll see if it continues. But some of these clouds are ominous, but we'll see. We're gonna go knock out Universal Monsters Unleashed, Unmasked. Let's start strong. We're not gonna spend too much bandwidth currently on scare zones. We'll be back when they get a little darker. We're going through the jungle scare zone. It's creepy. It's creepy. We'll be back when it's creepier. More jump scares. Universal Monsters Unmasked is probably one of my most anticipated houses. The team members we've talked to said it is absolutely amazing. So we are very excited to experience it. In the Monsters house, you're gonna go into the catacombs of Paris and you're gonna see the Phantom of the Opera, the Hunchback, an Invisible Man, and Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I am absolutely terrified. This is gonna be great. Done with house number one. 
for HHN Night 1. There's a lot more to come. Monsters was pretty good. Solid start. Was it as good as last year's Monsters? Eww, that's debatable. But there were excellent elements in it. I screamed a number of times. I think it's going to be a contender up there. On to house number two. So far, it doesn't feel as busy as it probably could be for an opening night. I think the rain might have scared off a lot of people. But it is still raining. My feet are definitely squishy. They're going to be hurting by the end. So I hope we're able to get all the houses done by the time my feet call it quits. Spooky lighting. Spooky. Our second house of the evening, we're going to go battle with some clickers, bloaters, and hunters and more. I hope I don't get kissed by a transformer thing. We'll see if we see Joel and what's her name? Ellie. Ellie, yeah. In the Last of Us house. But Last of Us house, number two. Number two. I'm sweaty. I'm moist. Take that for what you will. I'm getting a little hungry. We have not eaten dinner yet because of the shenanigans I decided. I decided to put us through. The weather decided to put us the through. The weather that I thought I had to endure, but I did not. So, I'm, I'm feeling Louie's Pizza, but that's a ways away. I don't know what we're going to grab. We'll find out. And we'll see if I even have an appetite after this Last of Us house. I love how they pulled off like the spores falling. It was like oh, snowing yeah. in the house. Um, there's definitely a part where it got me on both sides and I, I completely froze. It's one of those houses too, that, like you yeah, think no. you're done and you're not done. You're not done. You're not done until you're out of the house, trust me. The Last of Us house, it was great. I, I'm like trying to catch my breath after it, not because of the long walk out, but because there's just so many good scares in it. It definitely, it kept, it kept me on my toes. <laughs> I can't find my words, guys. We're two houses in. The night is still young. It's 8.45. We're, we're a little behind for the schedule we'd like to keep up with. We have a lot of houses in front of us. And I need to grab some food because I haven't eaten dinner yet and I'm getting hungry. So we're going to go explore. And we might go into a house. We might grab some food. I don't know what's happening next. Depends on what catches my eye. Come on, Ben. The rain has subsided for now. Hopefully my feet dry out a little bit over the next little bit of walking, but I think we're gonna try and sneak another house in before we get food. I don't know though, because we gotta keep Aub in stasis, so this is always a battle that we have to have. I wanna do another house so that we stay on track, get back on track, and try and get all these houses done by 2 a.m. We're, we're definitely cutting it close. Hopefully we get all the fingers crossed. Stay with us. What you doing? I'm hungry. So we are gonna try a lot of HHN food tomorrow night and the lines for that are so long. Bumblebee Man Tacos line during the day is never this short. We're grabbing some tacos. <laughs> So I got one of each. Ben, what did you get? I guess I got a Coke Freeze Alka. Quick refuel, we're back to getting houses out of the way now. We're gonna just keep going back to the back of the park, I think. You think? What? Back, back of the park? Let's keep rolling. Let's keep Darkest rolling. deal. Darkest deal, here we come. Let's go. I feel so much better after those tacos. Darkest Deal is about a man that basically sells the soul to the devil so he can play the blues. Risky business if you're asking me. And I'm a little, a little concerned about how they might actually set the story up and how creepy it really could be. Ooh. Wait for this, it's at 75 minutes. Thanks to Express Pass. It looks like it's significantly shorter. 
I know we still have a little bit further to go, but we're moving, we're grooving. We got so many houses to continue doing, and we passed the Dr. Oddfellow circus tent. Oh, we're going to that after this, I hope. Wait time permitting, but we're, we're gonna get it done. We're doing it, we're doing it. I think I just died a little bit going through that house. If we ended the night right now, I, I'm sure the rest of the houses are great, but oh my goodness. My heart, we're gonna need to check the heart rate monitor because it got me, it got Ben, and I am, I, I'm flabbergasted how good that house was. That ending was, was the, nuts. The ending, Nuts. Sheer nuts. The I think we got great. a fantastic run. The story's great. Guys, I had low hopes for that house, honestly. Universal proved me wrong again. On to Dr. Oddfellows. Hydrate or die. Oh Probably Ob's most anticipated house. This was the one she was most excited for yeah. in our hype video and spec map. The facade looks great. Looks great. Ben is scared of clowns, everybody. I hate clowns, so this one is... She's probably gonna send me through first on this one. We should, yeah. I like that. Uh, also, I, don't, I don't know if I'm ready. I just wanna point out, nobody said that doing HHN was easy. It's hard work. It's hard work, guys. So we're heading into Dr. Oddfellow's house, which is his carnival of oddities. We're gonna go through, we're gonna see a lot of death. We're gonna see a lot of mayhem. I'm hoping we see Jack. I've been told we might get a glimpse. I don't think it's gonna be full on. I think it's gonna be a silhouette, but I'm excited for this. Dr. Oddfellow is this year's icon. This should be one of the best houses, shouldn't it? We'll let you know what we think. I got all the scares in Dr. Oddfellows. Ben didn't get any. So this is a very, very split decision on this house currently. But I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Take a potty break before you do Dr. Oddfellows because I might have peed a little. They got me, they got me good guys. Not the top house so far, but near the top, near the top. Let's see what Ben thought. Dr. Oddfellow for me was one that I would be like, I need to go through a second time. Like Ob said, she got all the scares. I kind of felt like it was, I either missed things or that it was just kind of goofy. So. Looks like we're doing it tomorrow. Definitely got to do that one tomorrow, but we're going to continue on our circle and we're going to head towards Chucky. But first, what are we going to do? Potty break. Yeah. We're gonna skip Death Eaters right now, guys. I am thoroughly disappointed, but we are getting these houses taken care of. We have so many more to do. Express for the Chucky house and I'm standing next to the sign to go into the house just to give you guys a little bit of an example on how busy it is here the Express Pass is still getting you through to and through the houses quicker than a standby line but it's a wait again I don't know if we're gonna get all these done tonight 
I hope we do. We're doing it for you. We really, really want to, and we have till 2 p.m. It is 2 a.m. Sorry, 2 a.m. 2 p.m. would be a really long evening. Uh, it is like 10, almost 10:30 right now. There's Dr. Oddfellow's whistle. Let's hope we can get it all done. Secretly, this isn't gonna take us into the backside of Fast and Furious, is it? Hopefully not. Let's talk about Chucky. So, Chucky Ultimate Kill Count is a Chucky house where Chucky actually came to the park and looked at what Universal Creatives made and said, that's not good enough. So, he basically ripped apart everything they did and started killing everyone to make more blood, guts, and gore, as Chucky would. So, we're gonna go get terrified by a little red-headed doll. It's a, what, 60-minute wait, Ben? Yep. Let's see if we can get in in maybe the next 30 minutes. Fingers crossed. So, interesting news. We just checked the wait time for Chucky. It's 1.20. When we got in line, it said it was 60, but based off of how long we've been waiting, it might have been a little inaccurate. So, here we are. I think we're getting close to the end of the line. I think this queue is, it's all over the place, even in Express. Um, we're waiting it out. It's gonna be a good house, and then we will move on to the next one. We'll see. I'm hoping we get seven or eight houses done now. Fingers crossed. Well, we just finished the Chucky house. I didn't scream once. I don't want to be that mean, but Chucky's easily at the bottom of my list right now, though. Not good. Not good. We've got a house that we need to go get done, though. It's got a long wait time. Let's go to Stranger Things. Stranger Things. Ben still doesn't really know who Vecna is. He really doesn't know who Eleven is. He really doesn't know who Eddie is. This is gonna be a curious house to see how he describes it. I'm excited. It's gonna be great. Stranger Things 4. Vecna. And Vecna. And Vecna. That That's all I got. Right. That's all I got. We've heard my gripe. What do you think about Chucky? I just don't find Chucky to be scary. If you're into probably the TV show of season one and season two, that might be up your alley, but Chucky just doesn't frighten me like other things. So Chucky is far and away my bottom house currently. Yeah, for sure. How excited are you for Stranger Things? Uh, I give it so far, my excitement level is probably a 7.5 out of 10. I really do enjoy Stranger Things. I watched all of them. I think it's gonna be good. Is it gonna be my type of HHN house? We're about to find out. We just wrapped up the Stranger Things house and they did a great job telling the season four of Stranger Things. Vecna, as Ben said, was everywhere. Uh, and they, they just, the theming was well done. Now, one downside to the IP houses is that if you know the story, you know the story. And it kind of gives away what I would consider the ending. Whereas the original houses, you just don't know what's coming at you. And I think that that's one of the things I appreciate about the originals. Now, something that's kind of in between is the Exorcist. Exorcist, the believer, is the next house that we're gonna go to. We only have about an hour left, so we need to go jump in line and get that one done. We're not gonna hit them all up tonight, but that's okay. Anyway, Exorcist, the believer, it is not an original. It's an IP, but we haven't seen the movie yet. So I don't know what's gonna happen in this one, but we've only heard good things. Time to get in line and bust this house out. You're really trying to see some HHN picks. Uh, this guy not right yet. there. Not yet, it's coming. It's that coming. guy right there, unfriendly busy hero. Night. Busy night, what's going on? I'm a little nervous for Exorcist because we have heard 
that this is quite possibly the scariest house this season. Yeah. I guess we're gonna find out here pretty soon. We watched the trailer the other day and... <gasps> Creepy! It was concerning. This I'm concerned. Be. But will it beat out Darkest Deal? We'll see. So we just got out of Exorcist. I'm really excited to see that movie. That was one that the smells, the smells were very, very prominent. Kind of smelled like a rotting flesh. Very, very creepy. Those two little girls were very scary. Some of those scare actors definitely made their money sitting in those seats acting possessed, but really made you feel unwell. Very solid house kind of brought all those elements together of good scares, good acting, and even those smell concepts. We might have time for one more house. We have to look at the wait times and determine which one we want to hit up before we wrap this first night of HHNL. Let's go see which one we choose. What's the wait time say? I know the house I want to go to, but it'll all depend. The ones we have left. Dueling Dragons is 90 minutes. Woo! Yeti, 90 minutes. Woo! Blood Moon. Blood Moon is 35. Let's go hit up Blood Moon and wrap up this first night of HHN. Minion Alley's a little empty this year, having the scare zone moved as far up. It's kind of nice, it's spacious, but I do miss the ambiance. Ritual sacrifice, people that the moon is their religion. Witches, Wiccans, there's gonna be a lot of blood. That's my guess. I don't know what else to expect from it. I haven't listened to the podcast to get to know this thing better. Even then, we'll see. We'll see. Alright, I see you, Blood Moon. That house was better than expected. It felt a lot like you took a little bit of. El Chupacabra from last year, and then kind of the setup of the maze from Winter's Wake, and you pushed them together. It wasn't as beautiful as Winter's Wake, but I didn't have very high expectations for it, and it was pretty darn good, actually. Happy to end the night on that. We're, we're gonna wrap things up here, maybe do a little bit of walking around. We haven't seen much of the scare zones. I think we're gonna go get a couple pics of that for you guys to see, and then call it a night. Let's maybe go. go. Maybe go see some Death Eaters. Yeah, ugh. I haven't got to play with any Death Eaters tonight. I didn't bring my wand, but if we see some, I'm not gonna be mad. The jail of a Capricorn is disgusting. Let us get her to a place where she can reach
we missed the Death Eaters tonight. But I don't even have a dark mark yet, so. It's all good. It's all good. I will become a Death Eater and we will find them. Let's go find another scare zone. everyone we have had a heck of an opening HHN 32 night it started with an absolute torrential downpour which led to the canceling of the opening ceremonies hopefully when you come to Halloween Horror Nights there's opening ceremonies but we've learned a ton we've learned that stay and scream areas are absolutely critical missing out on that little bit of extra time to get those houses done we really regret it towards the end because we only got eight of the ten houses done. We have two more to go, which we are very excited to review for you guys tomorrow. We also saw tons of the scare zones. We didn't try too much of the food, but that's coming in a later video that you'll see here soon. We think that you are absolutely primed for an absolutely phenomenal HHN 32 season. If you got anything out of this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Stick around for more Universal content. And if you feel like supporting the channel further, please hit that Patreon link down in the description box. Thanks for watching. Bye.